Eagles, what up? The weekend is over. Everybody's had their game. And I think that there are some lessons to learn before we head into the Bengals, right? The Bengals really haven't looked that, that great, but they can score. And they will run up the score if we let them, right? They were going toe-to-toe with the Ravens as far as scoring was uh, was concerned. I was like a score fest that game. So if we don't get a lid on that early and often, that game will get away from us because I don't think we can win a, a shootout um, right now. I don't think right now we can win a shootout. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm happy about how we played. Um, I hope we continue to bring some of that to our future games on all to the postseason and hopefully hoping and praying to the Super Bowl. So right now, I don't think that we are Super Bowl contenders based on everything else I've been seeing in the league right now from other teams. I don't think we could stop the Bills or the Ravens. I don't think we could stop the Lions or... um, uh, the Vikings. I think those are the four teams, really, that have our number cooked. I think at our current level, we could make it a good – oh, well, Tampa kind of beat the brakes off of us. And I don't know, what's, what's up with that? Why we keep seeming to struggle with uh, with Tampa? It doesn't really make sense to me. I, I don't get it. But I guess that's the other one. Um, we should – be competitive with those teams, but then the other uh, the top four, forget about it. We really have to develop ourselves and get in a rhythm to where we are super confident, to where we are crisp with pretty much everything we do, and it's more muscle memory than it is trying to make a play, right? With Lamar and them, it just seems like muscle memory, right? Stuff that I've discussed, like with the Blitz. Blitz is coming somebody's open, he dumps it off immediately, right? It doesn't have to get you a million yards, but it stops you from getting a sack. It stops you from losing yards, right? Hitting people in stride. You do. We do that great with AJ. We need to do that with our other players, Dotson, Smitty, whoever we're throwing it to. And the ball is touching everybody's hands. You see what I'm saying? It's a whoever's open type of game. Whoever got their hands up and is ready to catch the ball, that's who it's going to, and that's how we need to be, right? Saquon, we, we love him. We want him to run his socks off as well as um, game well. We want both of them brothers to get some some touches and some runs because Derrick Henry, that man is a, is a monster. So we want to continue our strengths, and then play on other teams' weaknesses. And I think the Bengals' weakness right now is their defense. Their defense is pretty suspect. So if our defense can hold them, if our defense can hold them, we uh, excuse me, their defense is bad. So if we can keep up scoring points, I, I apologize, I, I misspoke. Their defense is suspect. So if we can keep scoring points, in every possession, put up points, points, points. We have a chance, a real chance of winning that one. But if we get bogged down and let them stop us, it's it's um, it's it's not going to look good for us. It's not going to look good. So that has to be the game plan. The game plan has to be to lean on our strengths, do what we need to do to win these games convincingly, can, and and not convincingly in the in the fashion that the rest of the league has to be convinced, right? You guys got to be convinced. You guys have to have the confidence in yourself that listen, toe to toe, blow for blow, we can go with anybody. If that confidence is in you, it doesn't matter what the the media says. It doesn't matter what the fans say. It doesn't matter what anybody says. We can win, right, honey? Yes, we can win any game if we have that confidence and we lean on our strengths. Don't try to play hero ball. Get it to everybody, right? So in that Ravens game and that Lions game, you really see the creativity of the offenses. You really see them utilizing different portions of their offense to their advantage. 
when one piece is taken away, they go to another piece. That's another thing, adjustments, right? Say the run doesn't work on the Bengals. Then go to the throw. But don't abandon the run. You got to keep them guessing. You got to let, not let them know, is it going to game well? Is it going to Saquon? Is it going to Smitty? Is it going to AJ? Is it going to Dotson? Is it going to Goddard if he's back? You know, they cannot know what we're doing. Any team that has the formula and can re-hurts and read what the offense is doing is going to shut us down. We have to be dynamic. That's my, that's my key takeaway to our offense. We have to be dynamic. Enough of that. Defense. If we don't create pressures on Burrow, if we don't create pressures on Lamar and, and, and um, uh, Allen, Mahomes, we are not going to win. And what, what is up with the league not wanting to tackle Mahomes? This man's tiptoeing down the line, body that man, right? So I think, here's, here's, here's my thought process. I think the defenders are thinking he's giving himself up and they don't want to hit him to get a penalty, right? And I, I can kind of get that mindset because if you hit the QB when he's either giving himself up or going out of bounds, then whatever he did make, you get a penalty tacked onto that. Or if he didn't make, we're number one, if he didn't make any yards and you hit him, we're, we're going to get a penalty. So I kind of get it. But if that man is not absolutely pointed out of bounds, deck him. Deck him. I'm just watching teams let him do whatever he wants. They run right by him. They're looking at him like, oh, well, there goes Mahomes. It was good to see him. No, hit that man. Jeez, me Christmas. Come on, Eagles. Keep this momentum going. Keep piling on the W's. Keep piling on the confidence. And take us to where we really know we deserve to be. Back in the Super Bowl and winning it. Not just getting there, but winning it. I think in our conference, we really only have to worry about, in the NFC East, we really only have to worry about the Commanders. We've got to play them twice. I'm thinking... We might split with them. I was saying before that they were going to beat us twice, but I think if we can get this, we're going to split with them. Cowboys, we may beat them both. I said we were going to split with them. We might beat them both times. They're in shambles. If the broken down 49ers beat them and beat them bad this weekend, you can forget about it. That team will be in shambles. The organization will be shambles. The fans are already at each other's throat. I saw a video of a, of a Cowboys fan in full Cowboys gear singing Fly Eagles Fly. Shout out to that brother, whoever he was. Fly Eagles Fly, you're right. Leave the Cowgirls alone and come on over here. But we can do it. We can make it happen. We just got to, like I said, stack it up. And I, I really appreciate our team. I really appreciate everybody doing what they should be doing being where they should be, and making the plays they need to make. And we can win. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's get it! Let's get it!